Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryan back with a brand new video from HMS to be news. Now yesterday I uploaded the video for the Brands Hatch preview of Leon versus Shaky. Leon versus Burn, as it says on the screen. And who will be crowned the British champion now? After three long races, and I'm not kidding, they were long. I'll move on to the weekend and how it happened in a few moments. Shaky Burn was officially, finally announced British champion. Now, it was a crazy start to the weekend with a red flag in Saturday's race. Race 1, they'd done about 4 laps because of this huge crash featuring Howie Mainware in Smart and Philip Backland. Now, as you saw there, the Anvil Tagheyer went for a bit of a trip to the field and we're going to have a bit of a breakdown of it. So, in this little clip, you can see that the bikes come in and you just look at how his body... Uh, Howie Mayweather is the one in the green, the one is upside down. He does a bit of flips and he does land on the tyre wall. And that is landed just there. Well, or just under the bike at the moment. Where the airbag's gone up, that's where he's landed. If you just have another look, he's landed about there, just where the airbag is. But I freeze this part because where all the marshals are ducking, just under the yellow bike, a marshal actually got hit by that bike. This is the update of Mayweather in who was doing the flips in the gravel. He's had a collapsed lung, a cracked tyre socket, broken wrist, a small crack on his old back injury and the right side of his ribs are broken, so pretty sore. Now, the big talking point of Saturday, not only was that crash the, the biggest, but this was a big talking point, was the crash from Leon Haslam. Now, he had a poor qualifying, as you just saw from the image, and then his race did not start off too well either. He had two cracking starts. This race got restarted three times. Well, not restarted three times. It had three race starts. Red flag twice. The first one because of that crash. The second one was because of rain. Now, once he got restarted in the rain, you've just seen Hazem had that crash. And at this point, I thought Hazem was out for the weekend. He was. He, he looked hurt. As you just see here, he's just behind the bike with the uh, yellow helmet there. He's just high-sided. Asked for the throttle. Tried to get under Shaky Burn. Shaky Burn there, that red bike. And he's just completely gone. And Shaky might just catch it in the eye line that he's high-sided. And all he's got to do is finish the race and he's going to gain points on him. Now, they finished this race 27 points in the lead. Shaky Burn had a 27-point lead and he needed to be 26 or more in front after race 2. Now, Peter Hitman went on to win race 1 in the wet. And now we'll move on to race 2. Now, race 2 uh, was a crazy interesting race between these two these two fighting their way through the field because they start quite far back because the grid is done on the previous race lap time so race two race one was done on qualifying time race two was done on the race one lap times and race three was done on the race two lap times but despite all of their problems shaky burn came through to finish sixth in the race haslam fifth in the race only managing to gain one point back on burn which meant Byrne had 26 points going into the final round, which the final race, race three, which meant he was crowned the British World Champion. Now, it's a good weekend because I was there for the Sunday. I was there today. I got back. It's currently half midnight, so I apologise that this video is a little bit late. I was out at the actual track, and we went on the grid to watch him, uh, his podium celebration. It was it a was good atmosphere. Now, I did like... I did... I did like Haslam to win, but it, it didn't happen. And, you know, hats off to Shaky. He's worked hard for it. Haslam's pushed him all the way. It's his first year with Ducati and uh, Paul Bird's Ducati. And they've got that bike going well. But, guys, question of the day real quick before we end. Do you think Byrne is the deserving champion or do you think Haslam deserved that one? Because I personally think that Shaky Byrne was the most deserving champion. However, Leon Haslam was as well. So... Yeah, quite interesting, really. But there we go. Shaky Burn, British champion. What a crazy, crazy weekend. And also, don't worry, I have not forgot about the Riders' Cup. The Riders' Cup, as I mentioned yesterday, was between Michael Laverty, Richard Cooper, Peter Hickman, and Christian Iden. Now, with Hickman's win in the first race and a third in the second race... It meant that this man, Peter Hickman, was crowned the Riders' 
champion. Now the Riders champion is when you finish seventh in in the race. If you don't know, the top six are in the showdown, and then seventh and lower are fighting for seventh in the championship, which is also known as the Riders Cup. Now this man Peter Hickman and his bike named Doris got that one so I'm really pleased for that because I really do like Peter Hickman as a rider he's, he's, he's a nice lad as well and I'm just really pleased that um, he's, he's done that for not only for him but for the team uh, I've got some news coming out soon when I actually get it There's, it's just rumours at the moment that the JG Speed Fit Kawasaki of Leon Haslam and Peter Hickman and James Ellison will not be running next year which is quite a shock seeing as Ellison picked up two wins today he won race two and race three so yeah quite an interesting weekend if you guys enjoyed the video if you did watch British Superbike World Superbike or MotoGP I hope you enjoyed that I enjoyed it I enjoyed British Superbike MotoGP nah not so much quite an upsetting result really uh, it's a shocking one as well really because I, I i personally didn't feel like marquez was going to win the championship this weekend going into it but once rossi crashed i just had that feeling that he was going to win it but yeah interesting but guys like i said if you enjoyed the video hit like button and hit subscribe for more news content we've got some absolutely awesome things coming out in 2017 we'll probably release a video when we get to 2017 we've still got two more months left of 2016 about what's coming up on the channel and how exciting it's going to be but yeah tell you what it's been a crazy crazy season for british superbikes it's over now and i can finally take some rest goodbye